Hey, good morning. Christy and I are in Walnut Canyon National Monument. So as we left Grand Canyon on our way to Sedona, we had to pass through Flagstaff and just outside of Flagstaff, probably a little bit in the wrong direction from where we were going, is Walnut Canyon. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> suggested to us to visit from a, a friend of Christy's and uh, definitely seems like it's worth a visit. Oh my gosh, yes. It's beautiful. Um, in addition to the canyon, the namesake canyon, there's a lot of uh, uh, Native American, uh, Native dwelling places, um, cliff dwellings, uh, pit houses, that kind of thing. A lot like what you would see at Mesa Verde, um, Gila, Cl Gila cliff dwellings in New Mexico, those kinds of things. But these, they say, even during COVID, you can walk, walk around in the dwellings. We have to go down kind of a steep incline to get there, but it's We're, less than a mile round trip. They have two main trails. We just took the rim trail, um, real easy, about a little more than half a mile round trip. And then we're about to take the island trail, which takes you down into the cliff dwellings themselves. And it's about 0.9 miles round trip. You really couldn't get a sense of kind of the, what we were looking at from the no. rim view, but it's a meandering canyon. Let me just take it all in here. Yeah, perfect shelter, I guess. Huh? They provided a leak-proof ceiling. Yeah, no doubt. And huh. So they just built the limestone around to make the structure. Probably had paths that went down to the bottom. Yeah. In in little places like this, where they could get up and down. Aren't you glad we stopped here? Yeah, this was. I mean, this is completely different than the Grand Canyon, but so worth it and so undervisited. Yeah. Put it on your list. Put it on your list. It's, list. it's just right outside of Flagstaff. Wooden 
the supports right here across the doorway. And then in the next room over there. That's amazing. So I don't know if this is reconstructed or original. I kind of think it's probably reconstructed, but still very cool. They had a fire the soot, over here. The soot and everything. I'm gonna guess that they had a hole in the, you know, somewhere over there to let the smoke out. So the rocks are interesting. Just reading some of the kiosks that are around, it says that all of the lines and the different colors and shapes, or different directions and shapes rather, on there were all created by wind. So you know, we didn't know if it was layers or if it was glacial or what. But, I mean, it is layers, but it's obviously um, been, a, been affected and impacted by the wind and probably water as well. <laughs> 